Friday come up. Well, I just figured that you always give me the best surprises. So I wanted to surprise you with something. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Storytime with the Grown Woman Swag. Well, we know what the freaking surprise is about because the freaking title tells us when Shayla gives Mike a key to her apartment. So many of y'all have been saying that Shayla's just playing. She's trying to get to Anthony. She this, she that. I dare to say that Shayla has a thing for Anthony. But I think it's dwindling away. The, the more she is with Mike, the more that feeling that she has for Anthony just goes away. Um, and that happens when somebody good comes into your life and starts showing you something different. So, let's carry on and see what the surprise is, y'all. <laughs> so, it's a key to my It's a key to my place. Please. Yes, baby. You have been the best man to me in my life. And I want you to be able to trust me the way I can trust you. What did I just tell y'all? That I, I, you know, Mike is showing Shayla something that she hasn't seen in Anthony. She didn't see in Arby. And I dare to say in any other relationship, even though, you know, we haven't seen any other relationship, but just, you know, just looking at it as life experiences. Mike is showing Shayla something she's never seen before and she hasn't ever experienced with anyone before. Because it's the difference between love and lust. Everything between her and Anthony was lust. It may feel good at the moment, this, that, and the third, but it was lust. This even goes back to a skit, this skit prior when Shayla told Anthony he can't just come over there no more. Why? Because she's allowing Mike in. She's a, she, at this moment right now is where Shayla is allowing Mike, as she said, to go in, come in and go out as he pleased. She's giving him a part of her. I don't care if Anthony is paying for the apartment. That's his child, and that's what he needs to do. So we're not talking about that, right? Uh, so many of y'all talk about how, you know, she's a gold digger. Brittany is a gold digger. They get money. Get money. If you can get money, get it, ladies. Get that money if you can. I'm not saying be manipulative, manipulative or whatever, but depending on, you know, what kind of environment you're in, if you can get that money, get it. I feel like people who hate on women who can get that money, they just hating because they can't get it. But anyway, we going left. Y'all know I'll go left real quick. But I'm just feeling this moment right here because there were no ill intentions when Shayla told Anthony, listen, you can't come over here no more. You need to see if you're going to see Kai. We'll arrange the dates and you'll see him at my mom's place. I am feeling this moment right now, y'all. Bump all the other stuff that's going on. I'm feeling this moment right here. Being said, baby. And it would just make me feel better if, you know, I knew that someone had a key to my house. I feel more safe and protected with Kai here. And I want more of your little surprises. Appreciate that, baby. Little surprise pop ups or whatever you want to surprise me with. That is huge. That is a huge moment, and it's really a huge moment when a man does it. But Hunte, at this moment right now, this is something. This is a bold move on Shayla's part. Now, one may feel as though she knows her days are numbered. To the truth coming out about Arby and the baby and all of this, but I just beg to differ. I really just feel like. She's just going in a different direction with Mike. Yeah. I love you, Sheila. Mark, this is, I mean, I don't know if you know that, but this is like really, you know, my trust issues I had. 
It's been a while since I really trusted a woman like that. I've always had trust issues, so this is this is really the best gift you're gonna give me. Shayla has had men who gave her whatever she wanted, but Mike gives her genuine love. Mm -hmm. Everything about him is genuine, and there's nothing that compare money just doesn't compare to it. Mm -mm. I'm gonna do my very best just to be somebody you can trust in. I haven't always been a perfect person in my life, but I feel like with you, I've really been starting life over. Like I've gotten a, a second chance in life with you and my son. I'm so grateful, I don't take it for granted. It's so unfortunate, though, that her sh Shayla's shadiness is going to be exposed. I'm not sure if what Mike's feel for her is strong enough to survive what he's going to find out. You know, once every the truth is exposed, I'm not sure if what he's feeling for Shayla is strong enough to survive. But... Oh, it's not like she's doing it to Mike. She, she did it to someone else. But I don't know. That, that's a tough one. That is a tough one. But um, let's look at the comments and see what people are thinking. I mean, I know no one is supportive of Shayla. <laughs> I can't promise you that. The first one is slow, just like Grandpa said. You we can't call Mike slow. He hasn't had an experience with Shayla. So why would he think negatively about Shayla? His experiences with her have been great. So why would we call him slow at this moment when he knows nothing? Oh, next episode, Anthony changes the locks and tells Shayla to move in with Mike. I don't think so. Anthony is an upstanding guy. He knows his responsibilities. And I can't believe a lot of y'all feel like Anthony shouldn't negate his responsibilities just because Shayla moved on. I don't understand that. That key is going from man to man like Shayla has been doing. First of all, that key has only been given to Mike. Anthony had a key because he got the apartment. So... Giving your man the key to an apartment you're not paying for is diabolical. You don't have to pay for it. It's still her apartment. You guys are so weird to me. I just don't get your way of thinking. I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. People move on. How many women have moved on in relationships and have, you know, they have children? And they get serious. And, and this thing happens so regularly. What the free? What is diabolical about that? So, so many people are just talking about she's, you know, giving a key to something she doesn't own, something she doesn't pay. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Help me or, or make it make sense what you're saying in the comments. It doesn't make sense. I'm going to meet y'all there. And if you have it, please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification, guys, so you know when I upload a video. And as always, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.